So we're trying this week to do an experiment on chemotaxis and demonstrate chemotaxis. This is a simple way to do it, and I was hoping people would find something very similar to this, but this is at least an option um, if you have no idea what to try. And in fact, we're going to have materials out for you to do this anyway in addition to your attempts. So what we're going to do is, in our case, test the saffron, and we're going to pretend that is some kind of attractant or repellent. We don't know what it is. In the beaker, we have a culture of Pseudomonas at a certain um, density. All I did was simply take a pasture pipette with a little bulb on top. I filled it with my test sample. And then you take your test sample and you just drop it right into the beaker and you let it sit there for about a half hour to an hour. If the material in this pasture pipette is an attractant, the bacteria should swim up into the tube, into the pasture pipette, and after a, a, a known time, like I said, maybe a half hour to an hour, you simply pull this out, put it into a into a Eppendorf tube, maybe wash off the tip of this before you do that to make sure there's no bacteria sticking on the outside. Um, and then you just serial dilute and plate this out. And that will let you know who swam up into the pasture pipette. Now you need a control, a negative control, and a positive control, but at least if you did this, you'd be able to quantify the bacteria that went up into this tube, and presumably if they were attracted, you'd have a comparison and you would know.